Hi all and welcome to this video financial modeling blog tutorial. Today we're going to talk about an important topic in project finance and that is interest during construction. If you haven't already done so, please read our blog before you start this mini tutorial. Okay, let's jump straight into it. So the question says, find the construction phase funding requirements and debt and equity drawdowns based on the following assumptions. So in most greenfield projects you've got a construction period and then an operations period. In this tutorial we're focusing on the construction period and trying to find out how much money we need to fund this project. Okay, And the way we're going to fund it in this simple example is through debt and equity but there are many forms of different funding. We could have a mezzanine tranche, we could have bonds, etc. etc. So we've got some costs here. So we've got construction costs, SPV costs, and upfront costs. We've got a gearing rate and we've got debt interest rate during construction. Okay, so let's start building up this so we can go and grab the month. We'll put a month here. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to find our funding requirement. Okay, and our funding requirement comprises of these three items up here and also the interest during construction. Okay, so we'll go debt interest and obviously we haven't found that out yet. So we can copy these ones across to give us those values. We might even just put a negative on each of those as well because these are cash outflows. And copy that across using control shift arrow up and then shift arrow across and control R. And we'll sum those up funding requirements and we'll sum the above up so alt equals and then copy that across so shift arrow across a few times control R and then we've got our funding requirements note that we still don't have our debt interest in there at the moment okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to find our debt requirement Okay, so we're going to have a corkscrew account here and closing balance and we're going to have our drawdowns here. We're not going to have any outflows or amortization or principal repayments of the debt because we're only looking at the construction phase and I'm just going to tidy this up. As with all corkscrew accounts, the opening balance of the current period is equal to the closing balance of the previous period. And the closing balance is just equal to the sum of the above if you've adopted Video Financial Modeling's convention or modeling convention. Okay, and let's go shift arrow across and control R. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to put in and we'll chuck a line in here called gearing. Okay, so I'm going to make that equal to this number up there. Copy that one across. And now we're going to find our drawdowns. Okay, so we're going to go equals. It's going to be negative our funding requirements multiplied by our gearing ratio. Alright, so after that we want to find our debt interest, so we'll put in interest and it could be interest paid or accrued. In this example we're not differentiating between what's accrued and what's paid. So what we're going to do here is we're simply going to go equals that times, so the opening balance times and an important assumption about this, and this happens in most project financing, 
is that the drawdowns occur at the end of the period, so they accrue no interest on that balance. Okay, so it's only the opening balance we need to take into account times the interest rate and then divided by 12 because we're acting in months. Okay, so that's a pretty simple calculation. Copy that one across and then what we're going to do next is we're going to put this interest cost back up here. Okay, I'm just going to round it, it doesn't look like it's that much. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add our across the rows our drawdowns and this will give us the debt amount. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to find the equity amount. So obviously the equity amount is going to be equal to the sum of those or the the negative sum of those like you can see in the bottom right hand corner so let's just do the formula so equity capital injection and we can go and go 1 minus the gearing ratio times this one up here and obviously it needs to be a negative n number so this comes out positive and we should, if we've done it correctly, get that 30 number that we saw before. So if we add all these up, we get a sum of zero. So our funding requirements are perfectly matched with our debt and equity drawdowns or capital injections. Okay, just going to tidy this up. And that's basically this tutorial. So if you've got any questions, please feel free to throw us a line.